Yo, what's up dudes? I'm gonna do a quiet, quick video. My kids are sleeping. At least they're supposed to be sleeping. Um, thanks for all the nice comments on the solar video. I don't think I'm done, Mr. Uh, or, uh, Van Freedom USA. I do want to get like a proper isolator, but budget and scheduling conflicts came up. I'm gonna try to stick this guy in tomorrow. And this just, maybe this is the wrong thing to do, but it was kind of cheap at AutoZone. And it's just a manual stop between the power that goes from my starting battery to my house batteries. So hopefully, but yeah, as for right now, I got nothing aside from the when the engine's running uh, besides just the solar panels. So again, I don't think that I'm done, but closer. I'm running electricity now off my uh, inverter, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it took a little while to get there. And again, thanks for the nice comments. A lot of people mentioned they were worried about starting a project like that, not knowing what they're doing. I never let that kind of thing get me down. Just hop right in, full force, and let it work itself out. Uh, I always thought my superpower is not being scared to look dumb. Not scared at all. Just start something and hope it kind of works itself out. But my weakness, my kryptonite to that, is uh, I used to be very nervous about asking people for help, but now I'm not. So yeah, so again, I've been asking for lots of help on this one and been getting it. This idea wasn't actually my idea. This is from a 400-year-old man that uh, I bumped into. And since he was around and electricity was invented, I figure he knows a lot about it. But the guy seemed pretty wise on uh, uh, RV stuff. Like he's been in a few trailers and all that kind of thing. So yeah, that was very helpful information. Uh, but I have to give it a little bit of a wait for the time being because I got a, uh, I'm going to the Cleveland Comedy Festival, so that's where I'll be. I don't just, I'm just not all RVs, buddy. I got, a uh, dimensions to me. Two-dimensional. Two-dimensional guy. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go, I'm there from, today is, what the hell is today? Today's Tuesday. So I'm there Thursday through Saturday. And Friday, I'm going to make a little pit stop in Cleveland, or in Columbus, and stretch my legs a little bit, and do some spots there. I should plug my, where I'm going to be, if anybody in Cleveland's watching this, I should plug. Uh, okay. Thursday, I'm going to be at Late Night Laughs. Friday, I'll be at Happy Hour. Saturday, I'll be at the Saskatchewan Hall. So that's where I'll be. Oh, another thing for the, uh, for you guys boondockers out here. I had a crazy idea on how to uh, find a spot to stay in downtown Cleveland. I went on Google Images and I walked with the, or Google Street View. And we put the little man down and he walks around town. You can see stuff. And I put him down. I found a big parking lot and, the, and then I was like, I just called the company of that parking lot and said, hey, do you mind if I park there for three days? And the guy said, yeah, I don't mind at all. I was like, I'm not getting crazy in there. He's like, you're not throwing parties? And he's like, and I'm like, no. And he's like, well, why not? If you do, we'll come party with you. So the guy's from, I'm not going to tell you the name of the company because I don't want them to turn into an RV lot. That's not the way I'm going to show my appreciation to him. Uh, but yeah, so they just said pull there and they're going to come to some of my shows. So sometimes not being a sneaky little prick pays off. So that was nice. Now on the other big thing, I've done an about face. And I'm going to take a lot of shit for this. But I am going to do a we fund it. Thing. Uh, but this is for actually for a thing. This pretty big thing. The announcement will come next week and I don't want to ruin it. But this is actually something I'm pretty excited about. In general, yeah. Not in general for the thing, but in general in life. That's a big deal. But uh, things are coming up old mill house recently. The solar thing was a big thing I've been thinking about for a long time and worried about. But I'm glad that's at least, I'm about 60% there. Um, again, I still got to run it from the inverter. Right now, I'm running off a power strip in here, which I don't really... I want it to just switch. Hold on. Switch automatically. Uh, but yeah, the comedy side of things going pretty well. I got a lot of big shows coming up, which is cool. Uh, I'm not smoking. I haven't been smoking for like six weeks. I'm on my step one patch. No, you'll have to just take my word for it. It's on my back. But yeah, so I'm on step one. I mean, that's good. Step one, three is the highest. And then you work your way down to step one. So I'm on my way. I'm no longer choking people out. 
I was kicking hobos for a while with the cigarettes, and I'm off that. But yeah, again, uh, I'm trying to remember who made the comment. Uh, don't be as a novice. It gives me yeah. Just get in there. Buy. It costs three grand if you're asking. Three grand and all the little whatnots. A couple hundred bucks on top of that. And I fucked up a lot, so I had to rebuy wire that I screwed up. Uh, you hopefully you don't have that issue. I'm not a big pre-planner, but again, like uh, I learned most of my construction stuff uh, trial and error, and you screw it up. Actually, most of life. Just don't be scared to suck at something. Just get in there. Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Just get in there and try it. Everyone's going to suck in the beginning. Like the first time I laid with a woman, I was nervous. I didn't know what to do. Then, when I left Europe, they called me D-Day. That's what they used to call me. Because I used to, every day it was D. That, and there was blood everywhere. <laughs> there was blood all over the beach. No, uh... Yeah, just say, yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, just get in there. At least I make myself laugh. Uh, but coming up, things I'm going to try to do. Uh, I'm going to get the generator hooked up to the batteries. Get a proper isolator. I'm uh, going to fabricate a little pan. So I'll show you some sheet metal stuff that I can actually do. And uh, a proper strap to hold those batteries in place. And I'm going to leave little slots so then later, if I get more money, I can get the same type of batteries to put into it and add down to the battery bank so I have a little more power down there and a composting toilet that's my other that's a big expenditure but again it's not going before uh, uh, I was gonna write down I'm sorry I forgot but the, uh, the gentleman sent me a very nice thing for a uh, a replacement choke I'm just gonna get a new choke why am I gonna get a whole new thing to try to save money on gas how I'm saving money on gas hear me out now I shop at Kroger boom Kroger, that's the deal. And then you get points on your fill-up that day. They don't know. They expect people to be in a car. They don't expect them to be in a house car. So I'm buying groceries anyway. Now I've hacked life. In other videos I said I haven't hacked life. Oh, I've hacked it now. Oh, I'm going to the Kroger's with all my coupons. I'm getting all my Kroger's points and bending them the fuck over at the pump. I paid a dollar sixty-five a gallon. Oh my God! What's it? Nineteen eighty-six? No. It's now, and I'm in an RV. Anyway, that's pretty much all I want to talk about today. I'm, yeah, again, I gotta be. That's the other little drawback of the RV. You gotta be sneaky quiet, and you can smell each other's farts. Everybody's you can smell their farts, uh, or they can smell mine anyway. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully I see some of you in Cleveland. That would be awesome if you're like, Yo, I saw you in an RV video. I'll be like, bend over. Because I'm kissing your ass. Yeah, but anyway, uh, that's me for tonight. I'm going to drink a couple beers. Play my guitar quietly. Uh, do some yoga. Um, think about life for a while. And uh, then go to bed. And uh, thank you again very much, and I'll talk to you guys another night. I'm going to try to video all the shows in Col Cleveland, maybe the ones in Columbus. I don't know, maybe I'll get there, maybe I won't. And catalog the process. Who knows? Maybe I won't do any of those things. If I don't do any of those things, it means I'm either having a really good time or I'm having a terrible time. So you can think about that if you see no videos. Yeah, anyway. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.